I'm Lauren with Pack Hacker, and today we're going to be talking about the Away Small Toiletry Bag, which I've been testing for the last two weeks. Let's get into it. Starting off with the materials on this toiletry bag, this is a water resistant nylon, uh, which is really good to see in a toiletry bag just because there is gonna be a lot of uh, liquids in here and it does kind of get put through the ringer, um, which I'll kind of get to in a second. But this uh, colorway here is the Coast Nylon colorway. So there are a couple different options. Uh, this one's kind of like a, like a dusty blue, I would say. It's a really sleek look. I like the, um, Leather accents on it, this handle here is really secure for grabs. So I used it if I was carrying it, you know, from wherever I was staying to the bathroom, or if I, you know, wanted to grab it from my bag really quickly, that was really easy. And then there's a little bit of branding here with this metal away tab, as well as these zipper pulls just says away on there. And then these are YKK zippers as well. So they run really smooth. Um, I had no issues with them. This one here is also reverse coil for a little bit of extra weatherproofing. Would have been a little bit nice to see here. Not super necessary, um, especially because the liquid's coming from the inside. Um, but on the back here is this kind of quick grab pocket, if you will. So you can use this for makeup wipes or anything that you wanna grab access or get access to without opening the full toiletry bag. But I used it for really small things. So I've got like nail clippers in here. I've got, you know, cosmetic scissors. Um, I've got my contacts. I use uh, one a day contacts. So I have to carry quite a few with me when I travel. And then, uh, tweezers. So this was really good for holding really small items that I didn't want to get meshed up with my makeup just because they are a little bit more like metal and clunky. And then I can get to those really quickly when I needed them. So pretty simple exterior here. There is a little bit you can see almost like blemishing on this material or on the nylon on the outside here. But otherwise that's just cosmetics. So it comes in contact with a lot of oils just by nature of being in the bathroom. So with this lighter color, you do start to see it, but it's nothing that is really, you know, awful from the outside. So getting onto the inside here, oh, there's also a little bit of fraying here. Again, nothing too crazy. Nothing that gives me durability concerns, but just to kind of keep in mind, you could probably take scissors to this if you want to. And then going onto the inside here, this zips all around for a full clamshell opening, which is nice. So you get really solid access to everything on the inside. So as you can see, there are two compartments here. Uh, starting off with this one over here, this is a mesh that is really stretchy. So each pocket is kind of inserted almost. So you've got this really deep bucket pocket to work with. And then the mesh allows you to really pack this out. So this is kind of the bare minimum of what I would carry usually. And if I added more to this, which I did, I had a couple of different, um, you know, larger containers or things like that. It really started to push against this mesh, but it still was able to close. So you do have a lot of flexibility if you have a lot to carry. And this one here is a small toiletry bag too. So. Um, I didn't really have any issues with not being able to carry a ton. I think if you're really into makeup, you might start running into some problems. But if you just have, you know, your essential daily stuff that you use, or maybe even a little extra, I did use this for um, a wedding when I was out of town, and uh, I was able to carry, you know, a little bit more than I usually would, and it still fit in here fine. So. Uh, what I usually did is anything that was a little bit like drier over on this side and then with like face lotion or something like that, anything that was a little bit too big to comfortably fit in this way, because you can see this is just a little bit too big, it starts to pull, you can just lay it flat on one side. So this side here usually ended up being a little bit more disorganized, but for something where you're just getting it from where, you're, uh, where you stay to where you're going, it, it worked out great for me. I also, this one here, I forgot to close it one time when I was uh, traveling, so it did squirt out a little bit into this container. And it stayed pretty self-contained, like it didn't get over everything that I own, but it did get a little bit onto this mesh here and then onto this inside liner as well, which is actually a coated interior for easier wiping. You can kind of see, I'll have to kind of take some stuff out here, but you can kind of see a little bit of 
where it used to be. Yeah, it's like that circle right there. That was just face lotion that squirted it out. Um, and I was able to wipe it down really well, but it did leave a little bit of an oil mark. Again, you're gonna be putting so much stuff in here that for the most part, you kind of expect it to get a little bit dirty. So then as well, let me just take that out again. You can see where it got on the mesh on the inside. And I did take, um, I just put this actually directly under the water and it came out pretty easily for me. There's a little bit of staining, again, kind of expected with a toiletry bag just because you do have so much in there. So when I'm done, I just kind of stick everything in, zip it right back up. And then moving on to the other side, this is a clear panel front, which keeps everything really locked in. So this is what I usually use for like heavier liquids. I put this lotion over here specifically just because it does close pretty well, assuming you remember, um, but also it doesn't really fit well in here. So this is good for things that are more of your um, just kind of basic travel, travel toiletry items. So I have, you know, my conditioner and face wash and my shampoo and then, you know, makeup setting spray, some uh, body wash. Things like that fit really well in here. And I liked it because it kept everything really in line. So I have a couple other toiletry bags that everything gets really, really jumbled. And I find myself just shoving everything in as I can. And I like to keep things, obviously don't look at this side, but I'd like to keep things organized when I can. So it was very satisfying to, you know, have everything zipped up in here and then it's good to go. So zipper slides pretty well. You can see a little bit of that lotion that transferred over. And then the same thing with that wipeable liner on the inside. So the bag itself feels really sturdy and durable. The outside uh, is, a, is a really nice nylon. It, I feel as though if it were to get into a sticky situation where I like accidentally set it in you know, a ton of water on a countertop or anything like that, which I have done, I've set it in you know, little puddles after washing your face, it, it fights pretty well against that, but also it, I think it could get into a little bit more of a sticky situation and not come off with any problem just because of that water resistant nylon uh, as well as like the coating interior on the inside. Overall, it ends up being about 2.3 liters of capacity, which is great for everyday items, but they do have larger sizes if that's something you need. So there you have it, the Away Small Toiletry Bag. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next video.